Now we're getting ready to wear it out. Okay, so we got plenty of room on the top. Should have plenty of room on the bottom. I hope so. We're going to start going in right here. Try to form the circle right there. I'm going to go ahead and get my juice right here beside of me. So it looks really good except for, of course, right here. See, I need... Normally, like I said, on a non-blown application or something that was even, you know, stage four territory, that would normally be okay. But look at all this meat right here. There's over a quarter inch that I could go all the way back because that tube it has to have the meat to keep it from burning through. That's where the head bolt goes. You tube them just like you do the intakes. If I could do that, then I could come all the way back and pull it. 
but tell me that ain't a considerable difference. Now let's look at the one right beside of it and do a heads up between the two of them and it becomes pretty, wow. All right, there you go. I got them both within the line. I'll try to split the light to give you a better view on it. Now, if you put the, uh, the Zoomy flow pipe on there and flow both of them, it would rock your world the difference that it would make on CFM. And, and remember, we're going to be over 400 CFM on the intake side, so... Anyway, just wanted to go over that. That's what I'm going to do the exhaust unless the customer changes his mind. I'll give him a call this afternoon and uh, let him see what's going on. But anyway, that right there is the exhaust side. And we're just about ready to wrap this up. So there you go. And let's uh, hope we can put the tube in. I'd love to show you that. If not, the 360 heads that I'm doing... Uh, which that'll be posting tomorrow night and on through the rest with the Denmark heads. Uh, they are getting that mod done. I wanted to show you how I've done that and, and the world of difference that it makes on the exhaust port. Okay.